What is good, Body Language Podcasters? Thank you guys for coming to the channel. <clears throat> episode 2904. I think it's like episode 23. Yo, my voice is shit right now. I've been sick the last few days. Uh, and by that, I mean I got into a fight and I yelled at somebody and my voice is hoarse. So I've been sick, <clears throat> but I'm okay now. Ah, we're all good. Uh, Rowan's having a sleepover tonight, so the boys are upstairs raising fucking hell over some Fortnite. Um, yeah, it's been a good night. Worked 12 hours today. That's not true. It was like 11 hours, but it was a long day. It was a long ass day. Ah, shit. Okay, but anyway, yeah. Rowan's having a sleepover. His best friend. Uh, you know, I'm not gonna say his name. Uh, name. I don't think his mother would appreciate that. Anyway, we'll just call him P. Uh, yeah, dude, he's a great boy. He's an awesome dude. He's Rowan's best friend. He's a great guy. Uh, but yeah, uh, oh my God. Hello. We are closing in on 30 fucking podcasts. I cannot believe that I've even survived this goddamn idea that motherfucking long. Uh, I genuinely thought... I don't know. Kind of like how I did with the vlogs. Like I was like, you know, I'll get like five or six into them and I'll just quit. But we're at almost a hundred vlogs and we're at almost a third or 23, so almost 30 podcasts. Dude, that's a big fucking deal, man. I'm into that, dude. Me and Jessica put a lot of, uh, well, not a lot, but you know, some work into these casts and these vlogs. And, uh, excuse me. We, um, you know, we like them. We're proud of them. Uh, for those of you who frequent the podcast, uh, you'll notice that we got a new background tonight. It's my guitar wall and uh, my mixer, my old mixer. I've had a few of them, but that's the only one that's really survived not being sold. Um, but yeah, Body Language Podcast, dude. Fuck yeah, man. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you have, awesome. Thank you. Love you. If you haven't, fuck you. Subscribe. Um, do yourself a favor. We post maybe once a week, sometimes twice a week. Um, yeah. You know, shit. Yo, my buddy Whitmer Thomas, who his, his name is Alex, okay, but his middle name is Whitmer, and since he's become an entertainer, he started going by Whitmer. But his HBO special comes out tomorrow, and I grew up with this guy. Uh, fuck yeah, dude. Congrats, Alex. That's so sick, dude. So proud of you. Like I said in a few other podcasts before, uh, thank you for letting me like follow your bands and buy your band's merchandise when we were in high school and shit for so long and not being a dick to me. You know, so many people are dicks in those situations. You were awesome. Clay, you were awesome. All you guys are awesome. Congrats to you guys. You guys are getting all of the love that y'all deserve. Uh, and I hope this special does well for you, Alex. I really do. I really do, man. Um, cheers to you, dude. You know, why so serious, baby? And Oh, and by the way, to fucking Morrow, we will be shooting a podcast. It will be a viewing of the golden one, which is uh, Alex's special's name. Uh, we'll be shooting a podcast for that, but we... I was going to do like a viewing podcast, but I, the more I thought about it, the more I was like, I'm pretty sure he doesn't want me to do a viewing podcast of that. That just seems all sort of fucked. Uh, you know, like maybe six months down the road, but when it's new and he's collecting residuals and royalties from this, I don't need to be showing it on fucking YouTube for free. So I'll be viewing it and you'll be able to see my reaction. We'll be filming tomorrow. Uh, comes out at nine, the golden one, HBO, Amazon Prime, nine o'clock PM. Uh, Alex Thomas, Whitmer Thomas, the golden one, HBO special. Make sure you tune in. So anyway, 
Um, yeah, man. Whitmer Thomas. Kick ass, dude. Hope tomorrow goes well. Yo, this shirt is so big. It makes me look so thin. It makes me look super skinny. I'm not as skinny as this. What the fuck? Oh, whatever. When I'm 50, I'll, I'll look back and be like, oh, yeah, no, I need to be that skinny again. Oh, man. Anyway, hope you guys had a great day uh, today. If you didn't, it's all good. Tomorrow's a new day. Um, put it all behind you. Positive mental attitude. Uh, a little bit of PMA can go a long fucking way, especially on a Friday or even on a motherfucking Monday. So just hang in there. If you had a bad day, tomorrow's a new day. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I have had so many good bullet points over the last few weeks for the podcast and things that I wanted to say, but I'm always working or I'm always like in a mode where I'm going real like 90 to fucking nothing. And um, I never write them down. And here I am on the podcast, trying to develop a good short cast, soft cast. This is going to be another 25 minute podcast. The, the mix that you're listening to is link in description. Yes, like this is like ep- episode six of soft cast. Um, but I can never remember what I was going to say. You know, like I know I want to hit a, a Jussie Smollett uh, bullet point. I want to hit an Eric Griffin bullet point, an Ari Shafir bullet point, uh, Bloomberg and Sanders bullet point. But I always have specific things that I want to fucking say, and I never goddamn write them down. Uh, I guess, you know, now we legitimately at like 30 podcasts, we're going to have to start getting our shit together. Like most of these podcasts are just me rambling and like hitting bullet points that I've like stapled in my head. Uh, But this is all really going to have to come to loop and some sort of organization, at least a little bit, you know what I mean? Um, 30 second rant this week is definitely gonna be, I'm not gonna hit a 30 second rant right now on this episode, uh, but it's de- we're gonna definitely gonna hit a 30 second rant uh, this week uh, about this fucking presidential election between Sanders and Bloomberg uh, and like Biden and then the potential of Donald Trump being reelected. It's definitely a, a topic we're going to have to smash. Uh, speaking of smashing, uh, me and Jessica are going to Friends Fest in a few weeks. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Friends Fest 20 freaking 20, dude. I'm so stoked. Third year, my second year, I'm headlining the festival. Stoked. Not a huge festival, but it's a very special festival. Um, I'll be doing a morning and an afternoon and a day after a podcast. I'll be performing there. All of my best friends, with the exception of maybe like two or three, will be there. Uh, Great people will be there. Great bands, great MCs, great hip-hop artists will be there. We'll be in North Florida, where the weather is great, outside. It's going to be fucking amazing, dude. Uh, Yeah, we're going to do that. I'm super stoked about that. Um, Also... Uh, Glenn, if you're watching this, shout out to you, man. Uh, I made a new buddy on Instagram this week. Uh, he's a previous co-worker of my wife. Uh, he's a very nice young man. Uh, I think he's in his early 20s. So I'm probably about a decade older than him. So um, we, we've, we've started to interact over social media. And he's also a fellow podcaster. He's got his own podcast called The Phantom. Uh, I'll leave the link in that in the description. Uh, to that, so it, he's a really, he's got a really good voice. He knows what he's talking about. Um, yeah, man. Granted, he doesn't end up being a fucking bullshitter. I think he'll be a good friend of mine in the future. So shout out to you, Glenn. Can't wait to have you on the podcast. I think it's going to be a good episode. Can't wait to be on your podcast. Um, yeah, man, it's going to be a good time. It's nice to meet fellow podcasters. You know, like nowadays we don't really have a whole lot of podcasters where we're at we see them like abroad we see them like uh you know like online and and like youtube spotify and shit like that but we know i like i I don't ever like really get a chance to meet them so it's really nice to um be in contact with contact contact with like a bajillion c's contact (laughs) contact with other podcasters um buddy corinne and my buddy Glenn, we're going to have them on the podcast soon. So y'all be on the lookout for that. Um, yeah, you know, speaking of Glenn, he had a, uh, a point today on his uh, recent upload that, that he did on The Phantom called Depression. 
And it kind of hit a few things for me um, socially and personally, or personally socially, um, that I would like to bring up. Um, I was talking about Alex Thomas a minute ago in his special. Uh, when I met him in high school and in middle school, that was a really rough time for me. And I think a lot of the things, to segue this into what, what Glenn was talking about in his podcast, um, I think a lot of the things that start with depression and a lot of the bullet points that Glenn was hitting in his depression podcast uh, start that, 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 that he did not shed light on uh, started uh, I think, in my personal opinion, start at a young age in high school. It's very important to have a social circle that makes you feel um, like a human being, makes you feel less like an outcast, make you feel like you're not at a place for the displaced and you're actually at a place for normal fucking people. Um, and I think if you somehow like escape that or, or, or go under the radar and don't get a chance to experience that in the puberic ages of life, which is, you know, high school, um, it can have a detrimental effect as an adult. And I don't know Glenn personally yet, but I feel like people who are like-minded like him and like myself who have experienced depression, I think a lot of it has a lack of light shedding on what was happening when you were younger. Because a lot of that now comes to life as an adult when either you have kids or a serious job or responsibilities or you're living to please and not living for yourself. So there's a lot of things that go on um, with depression nowadays with social media and shit that has a lot of triggers uh, and a lot of pinpoints that get pushed and buttons that get pushed and triggers that get pulled at an early age that you don't realize that happens um, at an older age, if you know what I mean. Uh, so I think when I get Glenn on the podcast, we're going to have a good conversation about uh, depression and things that entail and things that motivate those uh, depressive, those uh, depressive stages. Um, but yeah, man, um, fuck all the people that are bringing you down. Fuck all those people that are trying to drag you down. Um, I personally, over this last week, last two weeks, have gone through a real hard personal trial. Jessica and I both have had um, a very, very rough week. And um, it's crazy to think about all the good sets of words that you heard when you were a child about being motivated and pushing forward and progressing uh, until you're like in the middle of the shit and you have to be appreciative of the small things that you were not appreciative of when things were fucking like exploding and good and vivating and awesome. Uh, it's one of those things that like these last two weeks, Jessica and I have gone through a lot of shit and um, the small things have become so goddamn sweet. And I think depression is a small growth from a youthful moment, potentially not all the time, but then also a lack of uh, appreciation to the small things. Because when you're younger, the small things are small things and the big things are the, are the orgasm of the day. Uh, but the older you get and you realize that the orgasm is not the orgasm that was that day that is going to be all the time metaphorically quote unquote i'm quoting if you're listening to the audio version of this uh and you need to realize that the small things is what really makes you know what really like calculates good human happiness i think at an older age not all the time now, i'm only speaking for a small portion of people in the world for those of you who are experiencing that you know if not well then you know god bless you good fucking day god speed you okay fuck like i don't know what type of life you live but cheers to you <clears throat> also complete fucking side note i bought incense for my house like four days ago and have not brought it in from my car yet and my whole car smells 
a goddamn amazing. Okay? Like, smells like a head shop met a Southern Homes and Gardens and just had babies. And that's what my car smells like. Um, I've, I've, the only reason why I brought that up is because I told myself when I bought it, I was going to light it for my that following podcast. It's been about five, four or five days since we shot a podcast. And here, we are, here I am with a new setting looking super shit in a big ass tea with no incense. <laughs> yeah. Cool, Tyler. Let the blonde hair rock the show. Anyway, Friends Fest coming up two weeks. Glenn going to be on the podcast. Uh, episode 23 fucking good things are uh, coming man yeah me and Jessica got through the last two weeks so that's good we're we're surviving we're here still um good thing is is that now I know not to wear big shirts on the podcast so I look like a fucking twink uh that I'm not though so you know six one two percent body fat 175 pounds ah, not a small guy sorta sort of a small guy Okay, anyway, this I'm self con Anyway, this was the big bullet point I was ready to fucking hit at the beginning of this podcast. I could not fucking wait for it, okay? Uh, we're going to take a quick two-minute break to give you guys our very first 100% sponsored promo code ad episode. golf to go has officially come up with a promo code for our listeners. Damn. So stoked. Shout out to golf to go Shout out to Nick. Shout out to Daryl. Shout out to all those hard workers that go. Shout out to me. All the hard workers of golf to go Shout out to you. This is for you, for our customers. Yes. Two minute break. golf to go Be right back. Let's do it. golf to gocom This ad is sponsored by golf to gocom The best restaurant delivery service in Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Perdido Key area. golf to go brings you the food you want wherever you want it. Delivering delicious food from local restaurants, giving you the best luxury of having your favorite out-to-eat meal in the comfort of your own home. Not to mention, you can now avoid all those dinner rush wait times crowded lobbies, and snowbird farts. Wait for the food you love sitting on your couch, even if you're naked. Fucking call us, okay? Promo code... God, this feels so good. Promo code PODBODY, capital P, capital B, to get $3.99 off your first delivery order. golf the quickest, smoothest, most handsome, punctual, dope ass delivery service that you could ask for. Fast food, pizza, surf and turf, seafood, drinks, ice cream, anything but nicotine and alcohol. We will bring it to you. Go to our website, call our home phone. We will give you an arrangement of restaurants between Gulf Shores and Alabama, between Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama, that we will deliver to you from South Foley to West Pensacola. Golf to gocom the best delivery service in the Gulf Coast between South Foley, West Pensacola. Promo code PODBODY, capital P, capital B. Link in description. You're welcome. golf to gocom link in freaking description. Let's get back to the episode. Okay. <clears throat> Shout out golf to go for giving us a promo code, man. Finally, took us a little bit, but we finally got it. It's all good. We're still new. We're still doing the learning curve. We're still learning how to edit, do the microphone thing, do all this shit. We're still learning. Um, yeah, man. Super pumped. Use the link in description. Golf to go, baby. Thank you guys for coming to this podcast, coming to our channel, coming to this episode. Like and subscribe if you have not. If you have thank you very much if you haven't what the f are you doing subscribe right now subscribe right now okay podcast will keep getting better the content will keep getting better the guest orientated episodes will keep getting better it's going to be sick as shit in 10 years or less <clears throat> fucking subscribe okay 
Just show me some love. I mean, goddamn. Instagram and Facebook are on their way out. Show me some YouTube love. I love you guys. Thank you guys for showing me so much love. I'm so appreciative of all the, of the love I've gotten uh, over this. Um, topics will keep getting better. Uh, we'll keep getting a little juicier. Um, yeah, you know, it's just going to keep getting better, right? Yeah. Also, um, I failed to mention earlier when I was telling you guys that I was, um, I was kind of sick. Uh, and I said by that, I mean, I got to a fight and then yelled at some guys, which is why I'm sick. I'm going to preface that or sub preface that with the fact that, um, these fucking assholes that, uh, are that, that sell boats next to my house. I live in a townhome community. And then next to that is a bar restaurant. And in between, they sh they built a shotgun. Um, goddamn boat marine, where they repair boats and sell boats. And so, how if you zoom in, my face, and clearly my voice, is all a product of ten phone calls to the local police department for noise complaints via your boy uh, to bitch about them tuning marine subwoofers and fucking working on motors between 7.30 and 8 goddamn 30 in the motherfucking morning. Now, I'm not anyone to tell anyone's business, especially when it comes to work, but last time I checked, Shit like that doesn't need, that's that loud, doesn't need to start until at least nine, at the very least. My personal opinion, 10, but I'll give you nine. At that point, I won't get up yelling, trying to pick a fight with you. Um, and that's after multiple phone calls. It's not like my first fucking go-to is to fight you. I'm going to call first, and then I'm going to fight you. Um, but anyway, Grander Marine, fuck you. I got into the fucking fight. The motherfucker told me to get a normal job. Okay, so let me just stop you there before I go into the rest of the fucking story. Two jobs. Old lady's got one job. And not only that, one of my two jobs I work 50 hours a week with. Letting this go as far as it has been. I've called 10 times. I know I know other personally know other neighbors who have called. You've got to have at least 20 phone calls at this point. I've gotten into a fight with these people. I've yelled at these people. Other people have yelled at these people. We've all called. There's got to be some sort of fucking zoning issue between like food, boats, homes. And you guys want to show your ass towards me? Nah, you got the wrong fucking guy. But many things that I wanted to say in this podcast. I feel like there's like so many consistent podcasts that I that I fucking shoot that I have so many bullet points that I don't ever bring up when I'm shooting the podcast and I always wait till there's a guest. <laughs> I don't know what the fucking deal is with that. Uh, but you know, I guess I just like I like these soft casts because it's like whenever I shoot them, they're so organically authentic and spontaneous that it's like I I don't consciously make an effort to hit the bullet points that I want to hit because I know it's a soft cast. You come here to like, ah, oh, let's hear Ty embarrass himself. Hey, let's go watch Ty get a little buzzed. Hey, let's watch Ty hit a few topics that we have like-minded uh, uh, thoughts on. It's short and sweet, bite size on your way to work, on your way home from work, on your lunch break. You know, <clears throat> the hour and a half, two hour podcast or more for like I'm off work, I'm about to get drunk or stoned and put it on my TV kind of shit. These are more, I try to be like more just like bite size and chill and relaxed, you know? And like, it's fucking hard to angle sometimes because I have so much shit I want to talk about. But if I really compiled it into one episode, it'd be like the Mike Vallely on the fucking Nine Club. It'd be a five hour podcast and like people would get 45 minutes through it and not give a fuck about all the other bullet points that I want to hit. So you, like I said earlier, it's a learning curve. It's all about like learning to like piece your segments and your actual opinions on things when, when and where people will actually listen to them and catch them, you know, and these short soft casts are just not this cast, <clears throat> but you know, Hey, 
Side note, been on a huge fucking Eric Griffin kick the last few days. Uh, like, just been like railing his podcasts. Like, Griffin with Griffin, yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Dude, it has me in stitches every day. Fucking love it. it. Makes me feel better every day. Shout out to Eric Griffin. You are keeping a motherfucker alive in North Florida. Okay? Okay? So cheers to you. Also, um, I've had a few comments about how our content should be getting more views. Well, motherfucker, share our shit. Okay? Get us to 5,000 views so I can get us on Spotify. Okay? I told you guys, if I, if, you know, as soon as we get to 5,000 views on this podcast, lifetime wise, which we're not that far away from, we're at like 2,000 now. But when we get 5,000, I will do a audio podcast on uh, Anchor and Spotify. By the way, Anchor, thank you, Glenn, for shouting out Anchor for me. I looked into that. It was a lot easier. Fuck Apple Music. Spotify and Anchor is the way to go. As soon as I get Anchor, I'm going to be putting that shit in my ads. Um, Yeah, 5,000 views. If you guys like the YouTube channel that much, I will just fucking start an audio podcast. Because a lot of you guys got smartphones. Y'all can just go to YouTube and then just hit your home button and then YouTube screen will just get real small in the corner. You can just turn your phone over and put it in the cup holder. That fucking simple. But I mean, aside from that, if you don't want to get the data problem, which a lot of middle class people do, you know, been there, feels, motherfuck, been there. Um, you know, we're working on the Spotify. You guys keep watching. 5,000, I'm making a Spotify account, so it'll be audio. Not only, we'll still have the YouTube channel as well, but um, yeah. But yeah, dude. Friends Fest is coming up. Nate Bargazzi's coming up. Uh, Burt Kreischer's coming up. Hangout Festival's coming up. Or Moving is coming up. Yo, dude, so many things coming up in the next three to four months. Moving. Two stand up comedy shows. I'm playing a show. Going to a festival. Working a festival. Uh, Jessica and I are going to hit 10 years worth of marriage. Uh, like, there's a lot of things going on, man. Uh, we get our taxes back, which is a great fucking time for any any human being in the workforce. 1099 or not, like it's a good fucking time of year. But yeah, also uh, I've been thinking about having one of my um, one of my good friends who is a semi-pro uh, skateboarder. Fuck. Sorry, I had a burp. Uh, I've been thinking about having one of my um, semi-pro skateboarder buddies uh on the podcast he's sponsored by dgk um and i believe lakai um but he's a decent human being he's a good young man um his mother is a good friend of mine and i'm thinking about having him on the podcast uh granted he's down for it the second time that i ask him um, so, you know, be on the lookout for that new guest, new topics, new segments. Um, we appreciate you guys watching the, the ENT episode. That was fucking dope. We got like 60 views on that in like three or four days, which isn't a lot of views in the grand scheme of views, but with, you know, a podcast that's got like 40 subscribers, uh, does like 75 views a week. 60 of those was on this podcast almost instantly. So that was super cool. Uh, we appreciate you guys on that. Ian, appreciate you guys. He will definitely be back. I hope you guys like that. Um, yeah, man. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap up this, uh, this short cast. It's uh, getting a little late. I'm tired of shit. I'm trying to enjoy my wine. I hit zero bullet points. Uh, gave you only positive mental attitude advice which I guess in the grand scheme is not that big of a fucking deal or that bad of a deal. So, you know, you're welcome, but also sorry for not it being a more entertaining podcast. Like and subscribe, share and show your friends. We will see you guys tomorrow. Technically not tomorrow, probably later on next week. Uh, we're going to shoot the Golden One viewing podcast tomorrow. Uh, potentially another one on Sunday with my beautiful, amazing wife, Jessica. We are going to discuss some of the trials we went through the last few weeks and how maybe they could help you and your future endeavors with your loved ones or your financial situation. Um, 
we feel like after all these years together that we can offer a little bit of advice. Um, we're still in love. We still love each other. We're still best friends. We still go down on each other regularly. So that says a lot for our bond and our marriage. So, you know, we were going to kind of reach out to people who have been having the same problems that we have been having. Um, so you guys stay tuned for that. I um, hope you guys like the new view. Like I said, every time it's either going to be this wall, that wall, that wall, that wall, or that wall, or the bedroom. So you have six different versions of body language podcasts you're going to get. Lazy, upbeat, guest orientated, a uh, little buzz behind the guitar, in front of the guitars. Um, but anyway, new guests, new segments. Like and subscribe, share and show your friends. We love you guys. Body Language Podcast, episode 20 something, out. Out.